Well, hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. This is me, I am me, this is Jam of course, and I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial on how to show you how I made this beautiful, I don't know if I want to call it beautiful, I don't know if that's egotistical or not. I like it, I like the way it turned out, but it's kind of like a Papatito style, if you know who that is. Um, I'm friends with him on Twitter, I can drop his Twitter, of course, in the description, because all credit goes to him. This is kind of his style, um, at least the text is pretty much kind of and he uses a lot of like linear dodge type glow which we will do in this video but yeah pretty much you start out by making it 1500 by 500 and then you you're gonna make the uh, what is it called the resolution 300 pixel per inch and then you're gonna put in your render and then you're gonna open the flux pack or better yet the everything pack by me which is you could buy at six bucks and it will have everything you need for all of my tutorials except for the renders themselves because they are not mine i cannot do that although that would be nice but you can pop in any render but yeah you're just gonna take any random background and just pop it in All right, right here I'm going to make a hue and saturation layer above the background, turn the saturation all the way down, and then make a gradient where it's like darker on the right side, and then you just kind of mess with the scale so it's not super dark, but you're just going on. It's like a slight gradient if that makes any sense, so it'll just be like dark, and then around the character it'll be light. Alright, and then you're going to take pretty much a bunch of big black brushes, and then you're just going to brush around the character, leaving just a slight, my microphone just fell, a slight part of the background, and yeah, turn the opacity down, mess with it, so you just have a slight glow around the character, and you'll be good to go. All right, time to color correct the character just a little bit. So what you're gonna do pretty much is create a clipping mask above the render, which is just a, bl a blank layer, right click and then hit create clipping mask, get a nice blue brush. You can sample whatever blue you want there. You can see I took the light one there and I just brushed all the way over it and I messed with the blending mode. This is whatever works. I would recommend using hue or color and just turning it down like I do right here. And yeah, that's how you color correct pretty much. And you can add some more glow after that. I'm gonna add some vivid light glow and some glow in the eyes eventually as well. All right, time for a little glow. We're gonna get sort of a darker blue, make it kind of bland there and kind of gross. And yeah, right there, and get a brush and just paint some random spots 
kind of around the edges and at the bottom right there I'm going to do as well. And this is of course going to be a clipping mask like the other one, but you're going to kind of want to do it. Don't You don't want to do it too much on the face or else it'll get kind of distorted, but on the body do that. And then you can hit hue or color or soft light or overlay. I went with color right there and yeah, that's it. All right, more Papatitos glow type stuff. You're gonna kinda take a brush, paint all around the edges like that, mess with the blending mode. You can do linear dodge add, you can do color dodge, you can do overlay, you can do soft light, whatever works best, but make sure this is a clipping mask and you are gonna paint around the edges right there. Whatever works best and you're gonna add a glow behind it. It looks kinda awkward right now, but once you have the glow and all of that sort of like, woo, you know, type like fantasy glowing crap, <laughs> like everywhere you'll be like, oh, it doesn't look weird now. So it may look weird at first, but just keep going and it'll all turn together in the end. And right here, I'm doing the same thing with some whites and blacks. You can do overlay or soft light for either of these for the blending mode, but just make sure they're kind of around the edge and made like make sure they're clipping mask as well. This will just add some kind of, I guess, contrast is what the point is for this.
Time for the glow. This is my favorite part. I always love to make a nice glow, if you know what I mean. Just like, not if you know what I mean, you know, <laughs> just like a nice glow. I like a nice glow, you know. So pretty much you're just going to get a blue brush, put it behind, make a nice empty layer behind the render. And you're just going to start painting and make sure this is a soft brush. And you don't want to stress out with the glow. Don't overthink it. Is the And don't make it too even also is kind of the trick. Just like, you know, just blah, 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 and do whatever you want. Just make sure it's nice and relaxed and not crazy, if that makes sense. You can see how I did it. You just kind of paint a bunch of splotches. And then sooner or later, you got a nice little, little glow there. And I did set the first one to color dodge. And then right here, I'm making a second one, second layer above it taking the blue again and then this one you can mess with the blending mode if you want or you can keep it like that I did go with the blending mode right here you'll see what I'll pick and then after that you can add a white one above that if you want to add some serious highlights you're gonna see I'm gonna add right here gonna make sure it's white and then boom but when you add a white make sure it's not like crazy you don't want to add like whoa like a bunch of white you just want to add a little bit I feel like I don't know what I'm doing I feel like a lot of you will think I'm like crazy. I don't know why I'm making all these noises. I'm very tired, sorry. <laughs> All right, time for the signature Papa Tito's glow right there. You're gonna put a just like a nice like brush right over the render and make sure this is not a clipping mask and you will mess with the blending mode. Right here you can see I did saturation right there or whatever works best for you honestly. Then you can put another white one over it and you're just gonna paint random spots and you can hit overlay, soft light, color dodge, whatever works best right here. You can see which one I go with. I did go with soft light. Then after this, from you can do the flux pack or i would recommend the everything pack which is my pack i'm sorry i'm trying to make money i'm in college debt you can use that and just add some particles right over that and you can turn you can make the particles whatever color you want just make a hue and saturation clipping mask and just make it blue and you'll be good to go or you can make them white whatever you want but right here i'm going to make another layer and i'm just going to take a soft nice blue brush and i'm going to paint over some stuff to make some nice glow you can do soft light, you can do overlay, you can do vivid light, or you can do color dodge right there. But you can see you're just adding some like subliminal glow right there. And this is one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun and I would recommend it a lot.
And as you can see right there, I took my particles, I put them in, and as you can see, it does make all the difference right there. And you can like uh, control J on that to kind of duplicate it and put just a bunch of particles all over the place. It just, I don't know why, but it looks like it just kind of gives another nice illusion. You can put it behind and like in the end, there's going to be a lot of glow when you're done with this. There's going to be a lot of particles, a lot of glow. And it's just going to be like, I don't know. It's going to be papatito with some neat. All right, and then I did add some more glow in the background, just a big blue brush, and then I set it to color, and then you'll be good to go. And after that, this is in the Flux pack, but it's also in the Everything pack. Again, I am so sorry for that I keep plugging it, but it is in my pack. Uh, you're gonna take these nice, I don't know what you'd call them, I guess like, I think the way they make this is they drop like paint in water and take a picture of it, so I guess you can call them like paint splashes. I don't know what they're, they're called, but or like chalk, I think there a lot of people call them chalk. You can take that, you can put it above, change the blending mode of course, to, oh wait no, don't change the blending mode, change the color is what I meant, change the color, you're gonna see I'm gonna put a hue and saturation layer above it, and I'm just gonna make it nice and light blue so everything blends together, and then I'm just gonna paint like a, like a white glow around it, and I'm gonna paint like a dark clipping mask right on the bottom. You'll see how I'll do it right here, but there's my, my mask right there to change the color, and then I'll put a glow behind it after. And you can, of course, make it whatever color you want. But I'm just going to keep it with the blue theme. Alright.
Ta-da, we're gonna toss in some lightning. Of course this is from the Flux pack, it is in my pack as well. But just like get some lightning, make sure it's blue, then just throw it all over the place. Honestly, don't overthink it, just put it wherever you want. Make sure it doesn't look um, crazy, you know what I mean? You can blur some of it, you can keep some of it normal, you can just change the angle right there and use the same one, and yeah. Alright, you're going to make a nice white brush and just kind of brush over the eyes. And of course, I don't want to say this, if you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments or DM me on Twitter. I'll be more likely to respond faster on Twitter. I don't respond to every YouTube comment because I don't get, I don't get a notification every time anymore. I don't know why, but hooray YouTube. And yeah, so just hit me up on Twitter if you want. I try to respond to everyone. I don't always respond, but yeah, Twitter is usually good for me. But anyway, this is a trend a lot of people are doing. They just paint the eyes, and then this is what I do. I just paint them, then I make another layer above it, and I just kind of go over the edges there too. And then you can mess with the blending mode to soft light, overlay, or just normal and turn the, turn the opacity down. Whatever you want, it's up to you, I don't know. Smoke. This is from the Flux pack, but it is also in my pack. But you are going to put this behind everything except for the blue color. And you're just going to turn the opacity down quite a bit. This is just going to add some more atmosphere in your, your little creation here.
And then I'm throwing in some stocks right here and I'm color correcting them. And it, I like the way it looks to be honest. They are stocks, but they do do the job and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, and just to add some texture, you can use anything you want, just to prove that you can do anything you want. I'm literally using a tree, putting some Gaussian blur on it, and then I'm just like making it blue and putting it wherever, erasing some spots. And that's just kind of how you add some texture in the background. I would highly recommend doing this because you want, you don't want like a flat background. The more texture you add, it'll just, it'll just be nice, nice little texture. And yeah, it'll just be more pleasing to the eye.
All right, and then I'm taking some stocks right here, and they are already blue, but I'm putting them in just to add some. They're like some nice motion stocks. I'm gonna add it, Control J to duplicate it, and then filter, blur, um, what is it, motion blur to add some nice like, it's just, yeah, it's just some nice motion you can see right there. You can do however much you want, or you don't even have to blur it, but I'm gonna add some nice blur so it kinda looks like the render is kinda moving in, giving it some more action and stuff like that. All right, time for the Lightroom. This is my Lightroom, and it's pretty basic, but I made it from scratch. I hope you like it. This is pretty much what you do. You open it, you mess with the save area, you just save it wherever you want. Just do exactly what I'm doing right there. You'll click on like the um, action thing with the settings key, then go to save, and then make sure you're saving to your document documents because it's set to save to mine. So just switch that just like I did right there. It's super easy, and you won't get an error. And then right there you can see you put in whatever name you want for the text. I'm using Splashy. This guy I used to, um, I used to be on a team with him, but he just kind of like, he's part of Delirium now. I think he like um, leads Delirium and then he, he doesn't respond to me anymore. I like made this for him and I'm like, here you go. And then he just did not respond. So shout out to people in Delir Delirium. <laughs> also the leader from Delirium once kind of like trashed my work. So love that guy. Shout out to you. Hope you're doing good. Um, I guess I'm still salty about it because I'm bringing it up, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so take your thing and then add whatever typeface you want to it. Whatever works, you know, works for you, works for you. And this one is called Yikes with an exclamation point. This one is inspired by, um, I play Crash Bandicoot a lot. I play it, um, not as a kid, I just kind of played it as a teenager because I'm in college. I just, I played it over break last year and I just really liked it. And I think this font is the same font they use for like some of the cutscenes. So that's the same one I'm doing right here. And then you can see I'm going to tilt the text right here with the little arrows. And then you can see the green thing. Just drag on the green thing. So you can see I'm tilting it right there. Do whatever you want to it. And then do um, make sure your render's looking good. You can hit that, um, like, the clapper. I don't know if the, the, like, the movie clapper. You can hit the movie clapper just to see what it'll look like rendered. And then you hit the center movie clapper with, like, the orange thing once you're done to have it saved. That's how you save it in the end. And you will have beautiful text, and you'll be good to go.
And then this is how people edit only the caps of their text right here. Just like make a new setting so you like save to a different, um, you save to a different file name so you won't overwrite your same one. And then you'll just go to object and then turn the depth like all the way down. And then you can say no caps for both of these, none, or you can do fillet cap, whatever you want to do. You can see right there, I just put cap on the end and then I'm just going to render it. And yeah, so you're going to have this one, which is for editing the front of the text. And then you're just going to have the original one, which is editing the back. You can see I plopped it in right there. Then I'm going to get my other text right here and I'm going to plop it in. And this is for the caps and make sure they're both directly on top of each other or it'll look weird. And then we'll start to color correct, add some glow and make it nice and neat. All right, let me start out by saying there is no right way to do this. There is no wrong way to do this. I did do the text. This is like, this was my third go. You either like the text looks like fine in the end or it doesn't and it didn't the first two times. So don't feel discouraged if you like make some text and you're like, wow, I hate this. Just like keep going. You made everything else. Just like keep going at the text and eventually you'll find some text that you're really happy with. And that's what happened here. I was decently happy with the text at the end. But anyway, I overlaid an image of just whatever image you want. This is of course a loading screen I just put it over put it on the um, what is it on the caps of the text made sure it was a clipping mask and then put another layer above that and painted the whole thing blue so everything was color corrected then I'll just have some texture on the caps of the text and I'm putting some white here and you can set it to overlay you can set it to soft light you can set it to color you can set it to saturation you can like put it to hue whatever looks best for you honestly it's, it's your creation just put it right on and you'll be good to go. It's not, yeah, it's not super challenging. You just have to go in and do it. And once you're doing it, you'll be like, oh, that was easy. And it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, right here I just made a layer above everything, uh, painted some nice blue splotches, put it to color dodge, and then turned the opacity down a lot. This is just for some nice glow right here. And then I'm gonna color correct the text, with the like the text that is behind the caps. Just paint over it blue, make sure it's a clipping mask, set it to color, and you'll have the back of the text pretty much done. All right, right here, just convert the cap to a smart object with the image and the blue glow on it. Just select everything, convert it to a smart object, rasterize, hit blending options, then add a nice inner glow for the cap. Make sure it's not huge, make sure it's not like gigantic and like overwhelming. You're just gonna wanna make sure it's fine. 
and just like a nice little glow to like make sure you can see the caps and tell them apart from what's behind it, the 3D area of the text.
Yeah, and then I just messed with the text a little bit. I didn't really change anything. I added some glow on the back part of the text. I just like made the color more. It, I didn't really do anything in the past like what five ten minutes, whatever that was. And um, yeah, after that, you're pretty much going to make the uh, duplicate duplication. That's not a word. Duplicate the top layer. Control J, and then just make sure set it to um color overlay and make it just white or blue just a solid color is what you want this is for the cap of the text just make sure you have another one it's going to be over you're not going to see it at the end but you're just going to make a new cap over everything and you're going to turn the fill oh wait no you're not not before that you're just going to take the magic wand tool um click on all of it hit select to select all of it just hold um hold shift and just click every single letter and then go to what i'm doing right there image image nope not image whatever it is image image nope i cannot read that select modify and then expand okay i'm sorry i could not read that i do not have my contacts in i'm so <laughs> i'm so sorry but yeah expand it by five to ten pixels and then you're gonna paint over the whole thing white turn the fill all the way down and then add a tiny white stroke and then we'll add the effect on it
all right and then right here once you have your stroke and then the fill turned all the way down on that layer it'll just be a really small stroke convert it to smart object and rasterize it so you'll just have the outline of the text then you're going to go to filter um distort and then i believe i went to wave or zigzag whatever this is right here and i use those settings and this is how you make the outline of the text all like lightning -y is how i did it and then after that i just like what did i do i went to i right clicked blending options then i hit a drop shadow made it vivid light or color dodge whatever works best i don't remember what it was but i would go with linear dodge add actually would also work pretty well and then that's how i added the glow for like the lightning of the text and then i converted all that to a smart object and then rasterized it and then i use the eraser tool and just like you can see me just erase some spots here i'm just gonna like erase it so it's not over the whole thing and it'll just be like some lightning that just pops up the text in some random spots
All right, an hour later after all of that beautiful hard work, you have made the best header that has ever been created in Photoshop, ever. That's a joke, um, but you've made a pretty nice Fortnite header, and I hope you enjoy it. This, of course, the PSD will be on Payhip if you want to save yourself some time and just buy it. And yeah, if you want to get the Lightroom as well, that is on. there will be links in the description and my pack, of course, if you want. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for the support. Um, 8K soon, I hope. Maybe by the time I post this, we'll have 8K. I don't know. But it means so much to me that you're watching all the way through. And you're supporting. And you're commenting. And you're liking. And all of that. And, yeah. Bye.